Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to make a video regarding the uh, Canon XA40 professional camcorder and regarding accessorization of it. In other words, what kind of accessories you can throw onto it. So first thing to say is that this info is going to apply equally to the XA4550 and 5055. The only difference is that the fives, in other words, 4555, they have SDA, SDI out. So if I pop open the accessories area here this is what the 40 has you have your uh, 3.5 mil in other words an eighth in you have an eighth out for monitoring you have mini hdmi out uh, micro usb and finally remote control but you don't have sdi but otherwise and then the 50 you're going to get that nicer one inch sensor this is only a one over 2.3 cmos sensor on the 40 but otherwise i think they're actually pretty much identical uh so they're and just they're, you're going to pay more for uh, that larger sensor obviously and for the SDI out um, so this is the cheapest of the four options um, in terms of accessorization so I did a video about this previously what I did say is that you want to go for a short or a compact shotgun um, they do exist on the market they're typically called short shotguns otherwise I'm just gonna put this up against my wall so you can just see it a bit easier um, it just you know the microphones a little bit too big in my opinion for the camcorder but it does the job uh, this is a 28 centimeter shotgun it's not a short or compact shotgun it's a regular one and it's a 21 inch camera or 19 if you don't count the the lens hood so yeah this is what i have for the moment it does get the job done and finally i uh, just want you have a little shotgun mount here uh, that's this thing right here and this screws onto the top handle unit for your professional audio one trick of the trade i want to pass on is that i ran some insulation tape round the shotgun in order to increase its diameter otherwise it wouldn't catch nicely in that shotgun mount it's not particular it doesn't you can adjust the diameter by screwing in here but it, this is at its fullest and it wasn't actually tight enough to to grip onto uh this particular shotgun the boy at bym by bm 6060 other accessory you're probably going to want to use or you know the common accessory would be lights of course so another place your other option is if you have the top handle you have one cold shoe to work with here and you also have and if you don't use a pro audio um top handle in other words there's a, a shoe here so you've got either way you're going to have an extra shoe to play around with so what you can do is use you can put a microphone here for instance, another another configuration here, I could use this little mini LC LED light, and this guy happens to have a cold shoe, and then I could stack another microphone. So that works for rigging as well. Um, but probably the most, you know, most people using a pro camcorder are going to be want to use use are going to be wanting to use a shotgun. That's why you know that's kind of the classic pro camcorder look is your shotgun microphone off uh, to the left of the camcorder. Um, now, in terms of what what size light you can get, this is one thing I was wondering. So this is a light I actually really like. It's a really cheap $20 little Ulanzi thing and it doesn't throw out a ton of light. But for its size, it actually is decent. And it's, but more importantly, it's really, really small. So this guy can slot in there super easily. And I'm actually tempted just to like Ugh, leave all my accessories. I wish more camcorders had built-in lights and built-in shotgun microphones So you always had something, but I guess it does give you more flexibility if they're not built in But in any event if you use something small like this little L this little light and you just leave the shotgun microphone attached Well now you've got for your running gun You've got a, a unit that's barely any bigger than it was before I added these accessories and you've got your light uh, it would be a little bit better if the light was operated from the other side, but uh, the switch is here. There you go. Now I've got my light. Now I've got my microphone and now I'm ready to uh, shot, shoot an interview, you know, with somebody at night time, let's say. Um, how much space do you have? Final pedantic detail. As I have a little bit of a collection of lights going on, I'll show you a few options. This is the Ulanzi VL49, so it's a bit bigger and therefore produces a bit more light. But on the flip side, the more height you're going to add naturally the less portable it's going to be and you're going to need a bigger camera bag if you want to keep everything assembled but that's how that looks i think it looks pretty decent let me show you what it looks like with the light actually in operation and again it's a little bit brighter but we're still getting 
and this one's actually an RGB light so it can do a bunch of different colors and that's only running at 15% um, of its potential brightness so there's a lot brighter that can go and final demonstration for you guys this is a bigger camera light again this is a big chunky thing this is a uh, Viltrox VL162T now I own a bunch of cheapish camera accessories because I'm spreading, spreading my budget thin and wide you could say and this is where we're starting to run into trouble with space and naturally this is going to be pretty heavy but let's see if I can do it one with one hand while I'm trying to hold the camcorder with the other one it's going to be a stretch but I'm pretty sure it can be done there we go and it'll actually lock off and we have it now that's definitely starting to get really heavy this is pretty uh, and it's you know big and chunky but if you really did want to use have a good on camera light that could throw a lot of light let me uh, turn this guy on here and that's again only running at 20% but this one has a nice little color temperature dial and a um, and a percentage dial in the back let me crank it all the way up to 100 and keep that color temperature and now we have a really uh, bright light there coming off that would really really do a lot of work for you if you were doing interviews or whatever nighttime because with your 1 over 2.3 sensor the low light performance is going to be you know definitely uh, worse than um, the 1 inch sensor on the 50 but uh, you can overcome that to a good extent by really lighting your stuff well in terms of the stability I just advise you know screwing these in really carefully because now everything is resting on this handle but it does not feel, um, it feels really sturdy because I've screwed it in really, really well. So yeah, depending on how big you want your finished rig to be, uh, you can throw on a variety of on-camera lights and on-camera microphones, and uh, then you can convert this uh, camcorder into something that is pre-accessorized and truly ready to, to run and gun, even if you're shooting in uh, nighttime or low light conditions. Hope this video has been useful. My hand, my hand is giving out here, so I'm going to end this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.